Hello everybody, this is PZZ Essien here. This is a completely random off the wall video. Um, just making this because I was watching uh, one of Cutlery Lover's videos. If you don't know who that is, check him out at youtube.com forward slash cutlery lover. Um, don't watch him if you're not interested in cutlery or knives or, you know, don't watch him if you're into that kind of stuff because that's <clears throat> exactly. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That is exactly what he reviews. He reviews, um, well, you know, his cutlery, so. Yes, but uh, I was watching one of his videos on lanyards, and he was, and uh, for some reason, he made me think of this little tip that I figured out for cameras. And um, I'm obviously recording this with my iPod Touch front facing camera, so this should give you an idea of what the quality of that looks like. Um, and you probably, if you're not watching this for your own interest, you are probably redirected to this video from my walkthrough. Anyway, cameras. As you all know, all cameras come with lanyards, and I love lanyards. I use lanyards. Uh, if my device comes with a lanyard, I'm going to use it. Uh, it's just the way it is. My DSi, right here, has a spot for a lanyard, but it didn't come with a lanyard, so therefore I don't use a lanyard on it. Why? Because when I put a lanyard on it, actually, I put a lanyard on it the day I bought it, I thought it made it feel really awkward and weird, but when I, I bought this camera, it came with a lanyard, a very nice lanyard too if you take a look at it. Very, very, very nice quality lanyard, I love it. Um, I put it on, obviously. But one problem with lanyards is that, um, or one problem with using them is that when you go to put your camera away in a case, this is USA, I don't even remember how much this cost. I know I got it at Walmart when I first bought my Nikon camera. Uh, but it is a, what is it, it is a Samsonite thing, Samsonite case, excuse me. Does Samsonite even still exist? I don't know, I know they made my backpack. But anyway, when you put a camera in, you know, sometimes you might end up with a lanyard sticking out and then it won't zip, or you could zip it, but then it'll just, you know, be hanging out and you could, you know, fray the lanyard or something. Some people just, you know, wrap it around the camera then go to shove it in, but they might have some issues along the way, you know what I mean? So, what I figured out how to do, actually, is how to actually wrap the lanyard around the camera and make it stay wrapped around, and I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. Mm, I can do it. Sometimes I can't get it right away, but it's really easy to do. Just like that. As you can see, very nice package right there. That is how I pack my camera when I put it in the case. Because then I have nothing to worry about. It fits right in there, and it's very nice and snugly in there, and I can zip it worry-free. And there I go. And then I pull it out, stick it out, quickly undoes itself, and away I go. So how do you do that? Um, it's really easy, actually. What you do, um, you take the lanyard, hold it like this in your hand. See how I've got my hand like that? Then what you do, you kind of come around with your hand, grab this bottom portion here, let the lanyard sort of fall down onto the camera, pull it like that, and then pull it like this, so we have a loop. See right there? You see how it's hooking on right there? So let me show that to you again. What you do, you have your hand like this, come down to grab, right down here, you might want to grab the little plastic piece. So come grab the plastic piece, and then sort of let the lanyard fall like that, you see? and just sort of pull it taut. You want to make sure the lanyard itself is below the plastic piece. If it's above the plastic piece like this, if I can do it, it's not going to work properly. I mean, it, you can do it this way, but it's not going to work properly. So you want to make sure it's below the plastic piece. Then what you do is you just pull it nice and big. Then you come around the camera, just wrap this loop around the camera. And there you go. That's it. If you're annoyed by that twist in the lanyard, you can go ahead and untwist it. And that's that. So, just sort of a basic um, tip for you. Make sure you don't turn the camera on with it like this. I've done this several times. What will happen? You'll get a lens jam. You'll get a lens error that you cannot get rid of until it gets rid of itself. So, that's a bit annoying. So you want to make sure you undo it and then turn it on so that way the lens can fully extend. Alright, um, that's that. So, um, just thought I'd share that with, guys, with you guys. Um, 
It's a little sort of quick tip if you're, you know, traveling a lot and you carry a little, either this is like your little, your throwaway camera as it's me Morpheus calls it, you know, if this is like your throwaway camera or if this is your actual camera and you just, you're constantly, you just want to have it with you everywhere you go. Just quickly wrap it, oops, slipped. Just quickly wrap it around the camera and off you go to work. You can stick this in your pocket just like this. Stick it in your case just like this. Doesn't matter. And it's not going to come undone and it's not going to be annoying. And then when you're ready to undo it, all you gotta do is just take it off, wrap it around your wrist, and off you go. And uh so that's why they that's why I like to use the lanyard, just so I can wrap it around my wrist. If I don't have it wrapped around my wrist, I don't feel as secure with it. When I have it around my wrist, for some reason, I just feel more secure with it. I guess because if I drop it, it's not going anywhere. That's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you um, if you uh, found this video useful, please like it. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh, stop!